Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, we had seen how to submit the JSP or HTML form to the uh, Spring NBC controller and how we can perform the uh, registration for the particular user. Right? So this is the project which I had created in previous video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to validate the model data. So here, uh, if you would have watched my previous tutorial, then you would have seen I had created this model class and we have uh, some fields. Uh, but uh, here, uh, as I told you, there is no validation stuff uh, on place because of that. Uh, uh, when we submit the form then submit form submitted in the blank and uh, that data is basically reached to the uh, DAW layer right that should not happen this validation should be on the place uh, when you submit the form then before saving this data to the persistence storage we, we should validate, validate this data so let's go ahead and create a web based application and most of the files um, uh, all files I'm going to copy from the this project itself and there I'm trying to show you I will try to show you how to validate this data. So let's create a web based application. So here you have option dynamic web project. I would say spring uh, form valid web app and click on the finish button. And most of the files and all dependent charts I'm going to copy from this project. So if you did not watch my previous video tutorial, then I request you to go and watch my previous video and then come to watch this video, then that would be more worthful. So let's copy this charge in the link directory. And uh, let's copy fuse folder and these two XML file as well. Let's dump in the webinf and I'm gonna copy all Java classes with package as well and that I'm gonna copy within SRC folder and there is a couple of changes is required in this project now now if you go to the views and here register then here we have given the root context of project name so that should change and if you go to the user list then this is also tightly coupled with the project name so these th two things i have changed and let's run this project and see everything is working perfectly fine then i will try to make changes related to the uh, form validation and here you got the registration form let's enter the name as kishan kishan dot cs at the rate yahoo.com is 20 india if you click over here then you usually register successfully go to the back and here if you try to enter uh, name here nothing is validated right so if you, you submit the invalid email address that is also gonna submit to the form and user is successfully registered that was supposed to not happen right so before submitting the data, data uh, this should be validated on the UI itself or if you some enter something the name and email and if you enter something alphanumeric in this field then your application is going to break that should not have that shouldn't happen right that is throwing HTTP status 400 so why this is happening because we haven't validated this data so let's proceed for the validation so to perform validation you require the extra jar files uh, and that is provided by the spring framework uh, that is provided by the hibernate framework right so if you go to the google and try to search uh, hibernate sorry hibernate validator validator jar then you will get the very first link click over here and if you go to the hibernate validator website then you can see the latest version is 5.4.1 this is the latest version they have uh, uploaded on the this website so once you click on this then this zipped version will be loaded so that is already i have downloaded i kept into my uh, local drive so here you can see i, I have uploaded i have downloaded 
distribution file i want it validator and after extraction i got this folder if you go to this folder you have a dist folder inside the dist you will have first of all you need to copy this jar i i want it validator jar so this jar i'm going to copy in the leaf folder and uh, if you go to the leaf then you have a two folder optional and required and whatever jar you get inside the required folder that also you need to copy so let's copy in the leaf folder and that's it these are the dependency you will have to add in your class path now uh, go to the your uh, model class and here uh, you have a lot of annotations to validate this field so first of all i'm going to use not empty so not empty basically checks null as well as empty and here you can specify the message uh, like a name can't be empty similarly you can validate for the uh, data type which is having a string data type like email you can say email can't be empty and can't you can validate for the country as well so you can say country can't be empty right so now uh, you can basically apply the more than one uh, validation on the single field as, as well so if user is trying to enter invalid email address then you can prompt a message to the user saying that uh, enter valid email something like this right so initially if user doesn't enter any uh, value in the email text box then we are going to display this message if user is entering but that email is invalid then this message is going to display so this is the things this is the validation we have applied for uh, age we are going to uh, apply two validation one is mean so mean text one attribute is called value so minimum value i'm going to specify 12 and here you can specify the message saying that uh, age can't be less than 12 and similarly i'm going to apply max validation so so you have a max like mean and this will look into the maximum value provided by the user so maximum value we are going to specify 120 and you need to change that message error can't be greater than greater than 120 so this is this is the two validation we are applying on the age and once you've done with this then then uh, go to the controller class and here here when you submit the form then this method is going to invoke right and here basically that form data we are going to populate in the user object so before at the rate model attribute you will have to apply one more annotations this may be the strange for the new guy so we are just going to apply a annotation before annotations so that might be for the that might be new for the lot of viewers but don't be strange it's a valid syntax so you need to annotate this user object with at the rate value right and little modification in your jsp page so in JSP page, we are going to display error phase for error for uh, every individual field. So uh, Spring has a tag is called errors, right? So we'll have to specify like this for every field. Now, sorry. So this way you need to write okay so here you need to specify the form as country form path as country then age email and then name and here in the header section I'm going to apply the CSS so you have a style tag 
and this CSS you can declare in the external file as well but uh, to make this demo shorter just I'm going to create a CSS class with error and color I'm gonna specify as red right so that error color will be displayed in the red color and here CSS class we are going to access by CSS class and we are going to apply this CSS class right so that error will be displayed in the red color and here you will have to specify everywhere this class okay and that's it all mod modification we are we have done so now we can run this application Uh, sorry guys this modification I have done in the uh, wrong file so this user is perfectly fine but uh, this registration I have done in another project so I'll copy and paste in the uh, actual project right so here is the actual project in registration let's paste it and here this we have to make change right as did earlier okay and let me check out everything is correct so now let's run this application now we have validated these things and now uh, this method signature will have to change here you will have to specify banding binding result parameter so binding result and let's say this is local variable name is t result and here we are we are going to check applying the f condition if condition this is having error has error if some error occurs then we are going to return user on a register page itself right so we will return this register and if there is no error uh, if a form is submitted with the valid data then that will proceed for registration these are the modifications also we will have to do now let's run this application now register page is displayed if you click over here then that is uh, forwarded to the uh, registration uh, registration success page so this is not uh, working perfectly right so one more modi modification you will have to do go to the uh, go to the uh, spring web configuration file and here uh, we are going to uh, specify the tag mbc colon annotation uh, driven so that validation stuff will start working now let's run it again Now if you click on the registration then error is coming right so for age there is no validation is coming because for age we have applied only for minimum and maximum so I'm going to apply not null as well for this error and here we can apply the message sorry message is can't be null and let's run this project again so there are three validations for age and if user does not enter any age value then this validation is coming into the picture now if I click on the register then see for these three fields error is coming out and uh, country is already selected that's why there is no error for country if I enter name as Kishan and click to the registration then it's still error is coming for these two fields if I enter some email address and uh, if you enter invalid email address then saying that enter valid address uh, valid email so let's enter some valid uh, email now click over here and if I enter age as 11 saying that age cannot be less than 12 
if you enter is 140 then say that is can